Good morning, everybody. Today, <coughs> under my dream of India, so this is the dream of every citizen of this country to make India as a developed nation. That is the objective of this my dream of India. And how to achieve this? Because government is doing other programs on their own. But we as citizens have got a bounden duty to do our part uh, to take care of the welfare of our family, our society. And in this respect, uh, today the inequalities, economic inequalities, social inequalities are these factors which government cannot do anything. These inequalities can be controlled or brought to nil, provided we all citizens join together and <coughs> treat everybody as equal because Atma is there in everybody. Each and every human being, this body is a temple. Irrespective of whichever religion is, whichever caste is, whichever community is, all are all this body is the his creation, and the first and foremost natural temple built by God is this body, and in this body he lives. Paramatma he lives in each and every human being, every living creature, and the Atma inside this Paramatma is there. So we have to see this each and human, every human being, not as a person with a special status or community or religion, all these things. See the body as a temple in which God lives. See the God inside each body. And when you see that, you will see the difference. What is that? When there is inequality due to caste, creed, religion, economic status, you have to see how we can able to bring in the real equality so that everybody is equal in this country, because India is a democratic, secular country, where there is no disparity on account of caste, creed, religion, economic status, everybody are equal. So in that respect, how to consolidate people and bring in the real equality among the people and equality in all respects, that should can be ensured in all this, all our people join as a patriotic feeling to see that we solve our own problems and bring in real economic growth in our family, in our society, in our country as a large. And that is the dream of my dream of India. So in that, what we are going to do is, how we have to implement it. See, this one, this is not a one-man objective. So we have to consult all the people of India. That is the first step. And in that respect, it is planned. In this dream of India, the first thing is to form Bharat People's Forum in each ward and panchayat level throughout the country. That is the first step. The first step is to consolidate all the citizens, whether they are having voting rate or not, from children to elders. Everybody should be in each ward, should become members. This is an involuntary organization. There is no president, secretary, anybody. Everybody are equal. In democratic country, all are king. Everybody are equal and everybody should have only one vision that we should see that we bring equality among all and we treat everybody as a God. See God in everybody and bring in equality in all respects so that there is a real growth in the individual and the country. That is a simple objective. There is no... So, in the people's forum in each region, each region, each ward level we have to start and we have to interlink all the wards and panchayat, all the centers throughout the country we have to consolidate. This Bharat People's Forum is not a one place organization, it's an entire country organization. Yes, what this Bharat People's Forum object is, what they are going to do is, first thing, because today majority of people in the population, if you say, majority of younger generation people are there. And the main social menace is this, <coughs> our youngsters face is the unemployment problem. Today I have given one instance how an unemployed youth, how the mindset of a person is 
they if they don't get the employment at the right time the that mental depression is such that either they may go to the extreme end of both sides the negative side they may go to the extent of suicide the other negative side they may go to the extent of they may criminal sir terrorists because of the victimization due to poverty so to overcome this we have lot of opportunities throughout the country but it is not been properly brought in synchronization there should be a synergy in the operations so they are in this bharat peoples forum the first step is forming a youth wing that is <coughs> first provision is to see that we provide create employment opportunities for all the youth of the country so what is to do is in each ward level all the youth who are in such such of job they should register their names for it and the data bank will be created and similarly in the organizations in that ward business people everybody they can enroll for their job needs so within the ward maximum job opportunities especially among the women they may not be willing to go out of the <coughs> particular area so they may get the opportunity there itself and those who is qualified based on qualification if they cannot able to get an opportunity then the other wards so each and every ward they should have a data bank of the job seekers and also the corporates and the business people who are in need of jobs so this information just be spread throughout each ward level regional level state level national level so all the things all the information should be distributed to all the centers by way of networking so that today a person living an mba graduate living in a village near parambalur he may get an opportunity in bombay or delhi or kolkata madras bangalore anywhere so by this networking we can able to create an avenue for jobs for all the youth throughout the country that is the objective <coughs> and the next step employment avenues first second is job oriented self employment training because most of the youth they lack the employable skill in them so these centers should provide because all they are across the education level and they need a support by way of employable skills so we need to provide an employable skill there are various government schemes where uh, <coughs> uh, the central government and state government provide the <coughs> vocational training employable skills this to these centers where in fact stipend they are giving for those who are learning this vocational skills for their self employment besides the ones they complete uh, even the government gives the support to get bank loans for them to start their own industry like that so like that we have to give employable and employ self employable skill through this center for all the people because there are many centers at various places individually it is being done but uh, in a particular area people may not be knowing so if in the each ward itself this center is brought in the people in the each ward uh, girls or boys they need not go outside they can learn there itself so by that way they can improve the employable skill besides this the center should also provide coaching for competitive examination like upsc tnpsc state staff selection commission banking service examination so that these people who are uh, uh, aspiring for government jobs they can also get uh, an opportunity to learn this may be online classes also so they should gain the knowledge so that they get an employment avenue so this is the second set job oriented training self employment training competitive examination training and the fourth one is personality development training because in viva attending the viva interviews there you need the personality development so that they can able to attend the interview successfully that is the objective which they have to bring in and next is uh, career counseling students should be given at school level what is the best course they can so take for getting a better employment they should be given career counseling at the school level college level so that they take a right course according to their aptitude and they gain the job opportunities at the gain knowledge for education for job opportunities and next is sir uh, there are people who may not be having the aptitude in education up to certain level and they have to they drop out but they have the skill in other areas the interest in other areas like sports games dance music and other things so we have to identify their uh, aptitude and skill interest in the whichever area they concern so every youth every person has got a skill or talents we have to identify the talents with the center and they give coaching in that and they conduct tournaments at a ward level regional level zonal level state level national level for all these sports and games music dance competitions so that these through sponsorship programs they can able to get an avenue for the livelihood according to their aptitude objective is every youth irrespective of 
their education and qualification are there. According to their talents, aspiration, they should get a money for livelihood. That gives them the mental satisfaction to lead a peaceful life. That is another objective. And next is uh, government, state and central government announces various uh, schemes for the benefit of people. At a uh, SCST, tribal people, all the, uh, even for the common man, many schemes they are introducing. Everything will come in the gazette, gazette publications, which many common men may not be knowing. This, this, this centers in each ward level. They should gather the information about various schemes that, is, that has been announced by the government, and they should be brought to the knowledge of the public in their ward level. And they should see that <coughs> this public get the benefit from the government by way of approaching the government and gaining the benefit for the people in their ward. So by that way, whatever government schemes will get benefited by the people directly. <coughs> and then this ward level center, the Bharat People's Forum, will take up with the appropriate local bodies uh, to see that the roads, uh, sewage system, water connection and uh, lighting system, everything in the locality is perfectly managed. So the people will get the basic infrastructure affected thoroughly. That is one of the things that they have to take care of. And whatever the people's uh, needs from the government, they should interact with them and see that the people in their ward get the benefit uh, without any bribe. So by that way we can able to work on the bribery and corruption in the offices. This forum can do, take the necessary initiative. And next is, uh, and most important thing is, we have to consolidate people throughout the country to raise our voice to implement this all India river water linking system through pipeline. So the object is, uh, throughout India we have so many river, perennial rivers, Ganga, Bhamaputra, Krishna, Kave, Godavari, Narmada, Tapti, Ravi, Bia, Satli, all these many perennial rivers are there. And most of the rivers, uh, they start from mountain and end in the sea. So water, most of the very very valuable water is going in the sea. Whereas in the south side, like uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, we have only one Kaveri and most of the time it is not a perennial. There we lack water and uh, most of the agriculture people depend on this Kaveri Delta region people well. So this water, which is shortage in this area, and when there is no, no rainfall in a particular year, then there is a scarcity, people suffer from lack of water for drinking purpose, irrigation purpose, all these things are happening. So the suggestion of this is, so water, water that is going waste into the sea, in the coastal region, we have to draw a pipeline. So through the pipeline, the entire coastal region should be connected with this pipeline from <coughs> top Assam to the Kanyakumari, and from here, Gujarat to Kanyakumari, the pipeline has to be drawn. The big pipeline, like Viranam pipelines, where uh, <coughs> the water from Viranam, Kadalur, it is coming to Chennai at Poro level. So like that, big, big pipes <coughs> should be laid. And water from this way, going waste into the sea, a portion of the water we brought through this pipeline, and it should be, because each village, each city, each town, we have the lakes, reservoirs, uh, <coughs> tanks and all. So the water should be brought to that place so that this water can be used for irrigation and drinking water purposes. So that throughout 365 days, uh, whether we have rain or not, uh, the people will have the <coughs> required amount of water for drinking and irrigation purposes. This contribute for the rural employment, rural agriculture development. When there is agriculture development, industrial development takes place. When the industry is grows, naturally the employment revenue grows, the youth will get a lot of opportunities. And the economic growth of the country will grow, people's economic grow, and we, that creates a green revolution which bring in the real development in the country. So this is the objective of this uh, Bharat Youth Forum, and these are all the various programs which we, want, we, have, we have to implement through this forum, by which we can able to give avenues for livelihood for all the type of youth, and we can <coughs> get the right benefits for all the people, so that the economic growth of the people grows, with the result the economic growth of the country grows, and India becomes a developed nation. But in this respect, how each and every individual, because you may say that I am employed, I don't have time to contribute for this, never mind. Every person can able to contribute for this, uh, and there is a simple way. The standard of operating procedure for each and every person to participate in this uh, will be explained in the next session. Thank you.